This is not the first liquid nitrogen leak to claim lives in Georgia. Sergeant Greg McGuire died in 2017 while trying to save an employee at the Zytex Sperm Bank in Augusta. Officials say he knew the chemical was dangerous, so he ordered his deputies to stay outside where it was safe while he went in to rescue a worker who was trapped inside unconscious. The plant recently changed names as part of a merger with Foundation Food Group, but under the name Prime Pack Foods, the plant was cited for a series of safety violations in the last five years. 11 Alive Chief Investigator Brendan Keefe has that part of the story and an explanation of how the non-toxic gas nitrogen can be deadly. OSHA cited the Foundation Food Group plan in Gainesville with more than a dozen safety violations all in 2016 under the name Prime Pack Foods and all for relatively minor issues. One involved a toxic or hazardous substance, but there are no more details than that. Liquid nitrogen is commonly used in medicine and industry. It's super cold, but not poisonous to humans. When leaks do occur, people often don't understand that nitrogen can still be very dangerous. Nitrogen gas is not toxic. In fact, you're breathing it right now. 78% of the air we breathe is nitrogen gas. Only 21% is oxygen. So how can it be dangerous? Because when it expands from liquid nitrogen into a gaseous state, it can fill the air and actually displace the oxygen. Your lungs fill with air. You don't feel like you're suffocating, but you're not getting any oxygen and it can kill you. Because liquid nitrogen is so cold, it can also instantly freeze exposed skin and limbs, causing severe cryo burns. But leaks quickly turn into a colorless and odorless gas, and the nitrogen dissipates rapidly outdoors, which is why there was no need for evacuations around the plant. We will continue to bring you updates on this developing situation. You can learn more about the effects of liquid nitrogen as well as any new information we gather. Just check the 11 Alive app.